Pompey's Pillar has tons of different kinds of wild animals because there's a lot of habitat. Habitat is a natural home with all the shelter, food, and water animals need to survive. Pompey's Pillar has three different types of habitats. The mixed grass prairie, the river bank, and the sandstone cliffs of the pillar! Have you seen anything yet? Not yet. Oh wait, I think I see something over there. Hi, I'm Ranger Danielle. Those little guys are called yellow-bellied marmots. They're one of the most common animals here at Pompey's Pillar. If you look closely, you'll see yellow-colored fur on their chests and bellies. This is how they got their name. Marmots like to make their homes under rocks and stumps like this one. They live in these underground homes or burrows with their families. This marmot is acting as a lookout. He's watching for danger and will make a loud whistle if he sees a predator. This whistle is to warn them that it's time to hide. Marmots like to eat grasses, flowers, and seeds that they find in the mixed grass prairie. What else lives in the prairie, Ranger Danielle? Pheasants, butterflies, bees, and sandhill cranes. Listen, can you hear all of those birds? They're flying up there around the top of the pillar. Hi, I'm Ranger Claire. Did you know that cliff swallows are one of the most social birds in America? They do everything in groups, including living together. These swallows built a colony of nests on the rock face of the pillar, kind of like the neighborhood where you might live. Swallows make their nests by collecting hundreds of mouthfuls of mud and slowly stacking them. They kind of look like a clay pot. Hey Ranger Claire, what else lives on the sandstone cliffs of the pillar? Pigeons, swifts, gray horn owls, and even rattlesnakes. I think I see another bird. Wrens are teeny tiny birds with big personalities. A male wren will flick his tail up and down to attract friends. It's kind of like waving your hand to say hello. They like to hang out in the branches of cottonwood trees. These trees provide food and a place to nest. Follow me. The riverbank area is another great place to look for birds like woodpeckers, warblers, and chats because there are so many berries, bugs, and seeds. On the river, you can spot ospreys, ducks, or geese. Look, tracks! Who do you think left these? That looks like a white-tailed deer. They must have come here earlier for a drink of water. They can be kind of hard to spot during the day, but if we follow these, we can see where they go. White-tailed deer live near the riverbank and come out early in the morning or nighttime to eat plants like sumac and buffalo berry. Look, what do you think happened here? This looks like a daybed. The deer must have found shelter and rested here. Looks pretty cozy to me. If you were an animal at Pompey's Pillar, where 
where do you think you'd like to live? In the mixed grasses of the prairie? On the sandstone cliffs of the pillar? Or in the trees along the river bank? Remember, when you're visiting Pompey's Pillar, you're visiting a home for animals. So keep your eyes and your ears open for animal calls and tracks. If we tune into nature, it's amazing what we can discover. We'll see you next time. Thank you.